Hey students, uh, welcome and thank you for tuning in to this uh, video. I am Dr. Lyle Zovi. In this lecture, I am going to talk about the standards of assistive technology. This is part of lecture six in the rehabilitation engineering class that I'm teaching. We talked in the previous lecture about clinical practices of rehabilitation engineering. And the following uh, topic will be issue integrity uh, management. I would like to talk about the rationale for industry standards and why this is important and how the things started for assistive technology and rehabilitation engineering. Prior to 19 1980s, there was no systematic way for wheelchair users or the product subscribers or the healthcare providers to determine if their purchase was a meeting that required higher needs and expectations for people with disability. There were a lot of reports of poor reliability, user injury, and sometimes fatalities because of poor quality of products. In the late 1970s, and working under the umbrella of the International Standard Organization, and inspired by European countries with large healthcare programs, such as Sweden, Netherlands, and the UK, there was a subcommittee that was formed on wheelchair, which is subcommittee one as SC1, was established within a technical committee of the International Standard Organization, which was Technical Committee 173, which is TC 173. This subcommittee was developed and established to develop actually voluntary industry standards for wheelchair products. I want to emphasize here the fact that we're looking for voluntary industry standards because the model that this was developed within is unique compared to compulsory uh, standards. And I will talk more about these uh, in the following videos. What was the rationale why this subcommittee actually was formed in the Technical Committee 173? The rationale for the development of this voluntary industry standards summarize in the, in the following reasons. First, to provide common minimum benchmarking of quality and safety that the manufacturer should attain and be able to compare their products against. This was the first reason, which is coming up with minimum benchmark of quality and safety. The second reason was to promote improved safety for areas in which problems have arisen or may arise with existing products. So there was a lot of discussions and issues that took place with the cushion of the seating uh, of wheelchairs and how they were contributing to pressure ulcers and all of that. So everybody wanted to promote improved safety standards. That is what was hoped to get from the voluntary industry standards. The third reason was to provide standardized product information based on the objective test information. That, that was another issue that people were producing wheelchairs and selling them or each company. They have their own testing information and it was not standardized. So that was an issue. People hoped that the uh, subcommittee will be able to come up with some standards that can be used for decision making uh, by the service providers which are you know clinicians and the product users the patients and the also the insurance agency to be able to look at the tests and see if these tests uh, meet the standards one of the examples that i can think of is that people were actually doing testing with different weights or masses and that was not standardized uh, before 19, the late 1970s or the, and the early 1980s. Uh, the fourth reason was to facilitate barrier-free trade of assistive technology products on the worldwide scale. The Euro European Union, Union wanted to um, have some this standard in order to be able to, um, you know, import and export, um, you know, wheelchairs um, easily. So that was a, a, another you know, important reason why the voluntary industry standards uh, were put in place. The last rationale behind building such standards is to consolidate technical, scientific, and clinical knowledge that is available so as to advance the quality and safety of assistive technology worldwide. All of these reasons, they can be uh, projected and mapped on, on any product. It was fortunate, I'm explaining it, for wheelchairs um, and assistive technology and rehabilitation engineering. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will be more than happy to answer them. I will continue more videos about the standards uh, of assistive technology. So stay tuned and till next time, bye.